Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for JARC's video series. My name is Jenny Kabert and I'm the Director of Philanthropy at JARC. Um, in case you're not familiar with us, JARC is a nonprofit in Metro Detroit that helps people with, adult, with developmental disabilities. And we have group homes, independent living service programs, as well as respite care. And we're here today with a very special guest, Sonia McCowan, who is a program coordinator at JARC and she supervises some of our group homes. And she's here today to share her harrowing experience with COVID-19. So welcome, Sonia. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah, so just to start off, I know that you're pretty new with JARC. So how long have you been with JARC and what's it like starting a job during this pandemic? I've been with JARC uh, approximately a couple months now. Um, starting a new job, I mean, start, yeah, starting a new job during this pandemic is, is very different because currently I'm working from home. Uh, so speaking with the home managers and the person served and uh, the staff, I have not seen yet. Um, so that's very different. I can't wait um, until the day I'm able to uh, match the um, um, match the face with the person you know who I'm speaking with. Um, so yes, it's it's very it's very different um, to provide uh, support remotely like this. So, um, but we're working through it, but. I just can't wait until the day I'm able to go into the homes and see the person served and the staff and the home managers. Well, I'm sure they're all very excited to meet you too, as I am. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what was going on in your life around the time that you started working for JARC? A couple of days after I started JARC, I was diagnosed with COVID-19. Uh, I was admitted uh, in the hospital. While in the hospital, I was put on a ventilator uh, twice. First time I was put on a ventilator could have been maybe eight to nine days. Um, come off the ventilator. Um, about three days later, I was put on it again for five days. Now that second time, I was extremely afraid and scared. I was almost as if um, I had met, you know, my death wish. That's how afraid I was of being on that ventilator twice. And the reason why is because I had heard so many horror stories about people, you know, dying um, from the ventilator, dying from COVID. And here I, you know, here I beat it the first time, you know, and then here it goes again. Oh, you have to go on the second time. So at that point, I knew that um, my life uh, was going to end. But you know, with my faith, here I am today, um, rejoicing um, and conducting this interview. So, um, yeah, that's what was going on with me. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm so glad you're okay. And you started working right before you were diagnosed. How did how did management respond to that at Jar? Well, Shindo Shindo um, was very very supportive. She contacted my mom. You know, the whole time that I was in the hospital, she actually had contacted my daughter as well. So they had given her updates. Um, uh, when I ended up getting discharged out of the hospital, you know, she and I, we text, you know, we talked. And the first time I did talk to her, she was so excited. <laughs> I was excited as well. She was so excited to hear my voice. Um, and that just made me so happy that she provided nothing but support for me during that time. That's so nice. That's so nice to hear that she was so supportive. And why did you want to work for JARC to begin with? Well, I, I know JARC has been in business for a very long time and JARC is a very, very unique organization. Um, and JARC vision and mission aligns up with my core values and my beliefs of who I am and the compassion that they have for the person served. Um, it's just out of this world. So. Um, I'm Jark, <laughs> you know, I'm, tr I'm truly Jark, so. Very nice, thank you. Well, thank you so, Anya, so much for taking the time to, for speaking with me. And, you know, Jark is so lucky to have you. I'm so glad you're okay and feeling better and back to work. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, and thank you everyone for tuning in. If you are looking for more information on Jark, please visit us at jarc.org. Thank you.